Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and watching series of video. Today we will make this healing aura effect in Unreal Engine 5.6. So let's start this tutorial. So let's start this. So I have this map and I will take a sequencer here. Open this and I need a character. So let me just add a character here. So I will just choose this one maybe. Yeah, we can use this. So I'll just drag this into the sequencer and then in the animation I will take this. Let me okay. Yeah. Perfect. So we have this and now I will set up a camera with from behind. And from this position, I will just click on the camera. The mouse is not working properly, but it's okay. I'll adjust. Yeah, so I want this camera in here. This cool. So camera is set up. Now I will make the lighting little darker. Make this maybe one and then I want some rim lights that I will add maybe later or just add it for now. So I'll just take this rectangular light and I'll make this green and then I'll rotate this. Yeah, perfect. And then I'll go because yeah, local. I just need it from this side like this and then I think I will duplicate this and then rotate it and one I want from this side also yeah cool so this is my setup now I can add our effect in this so let's now create so what I need here, I need a, let me save this. I need a ring that is glowy and then some particles around it and some leaves around it to make it like a, like a healing effect, healing aura. So that'll do first we need a ring. So. I have already lots of ring texture if I find, let me search these and I can use one of these but like this but this one is really cool so I can use this so just right click on it and I'll make a material this one I'll call it M ring Location is different, but it's okay. It is somewhere in the flower effects. So I'll open this and on the planar, this is how it looks and it looks cool. So I'll just make this particle color and that will just go here in the emissive. I'll make this unlit and additive. And this will just go in the opacity. And one thing, if I want to decrease the thickness of this, I want to use the power here. And then make a dynamic parameter. This is, I'll call this power for now. Let me just save it. And here, I will make a new Niagara. Empty. NS Aura. Why my keyboard is not working properly? And it's healing aura. Okay, so now I need here a particle. So I'll just add not this, just minimal. And I'll just use this rate, maybe just five particles. And then I'll use this ring here. And we can also 
use a dynamic parameter default value is 0 I'll set it to 1 and I will make this local and make the ring size little bigger maybe 100 and it just keep spawning spawning so what I'll do I'll just take this fade in fade out although you can just use one single particle if you want you can also do that so I'll just delete this take this burst and one particle that should spawn just one so I'll go here and make it just spawn once and life make infinite now you have this one particle I'll make this of course green like this cool so I'll just save this and I'll drag it into the sequencer minimize the camera and this so now this I will make this Niagara component then Niagara's uh, life cycle and I'll use the desired is so it will work on my timeline I'll move it here and we need to move it on the Y it's very small so I'll just make this maybe 300 yeah but now uh, it's too big actually 200 will be okay and one more thing it's very bright so I'll just make this maybe 0.2 yeah now I want the core to be bright so what I'll do I'll duplicate this and now I will make this one bright again maybe one and we have the parameter to make this like this we can increase or decrease the thickness so we have now glow and a separate bright area it looks nice uh, I think I just need to change the size maybe I'll go to 50 and 250 and we can just make some room here Yeah, now, now it looks fine. Cool. One more thing I'll do. I'll go to exponent height fog. And I'll make this like this much. Maybe just two. Or maybe just this active for now. But what you can do, you can blur that area if you want. But for now, I'll leave it. And now I need a particle around it. So what I'll do, I'll take one more minimum. And in the particles, I want similar kind of glow. So what I'll do, I'll make a new material for that. So I'll just make a material, call it M glow. Because if you just take the radial, that doesn't look like a glow. If I make this unlit, doesn't look like a glow. But if you take the texture coordinate and multiply it by 2 and then subtract 1 then take the length of it now it will look like a glow if I preview but it's black we need to invert this so I will not use 1 minus instead I will use divide and use a very small value so it's like a glow but it's cutting through the edge so I will now multiply it with the radial so now we have the safe area and now we can use this multiply this and just hit save now browse this and here in this new emitter I need a spawn rate 100 I need a shape location maybe it should be torus and it's like uh, facing the Z let me just decrease the spawn uh, particle size for now like this and now I'll make this uh, 
we need to rotate it on the y axis so there is a rotation i'll turn this on this now it's facing x I want y and now i want to decrease the thickness of this on the y so i will scale it on y but we have rotated it so i guess that is z yeah now it's flat so it will look like this now uh, we need to reduce the size maybe 60 and this maybe 50 and maybe 50 yeah it's almost there and, maybe five. and now you can see if i just make this zero it's not aligning with uh, that green because that is camera facing so you can fix that you can also make these align on the z so uh, align on the y so in the sprite renderer i'll make this custom alignment custom facing vector and then i'll take here align to mesh orientation and instead of x i'll take y and same i'll duplicate here and make this custom alignment custom facing vector fix this so now it's not camera facing now you can rotate and now you can match the size of this so now we need to make this around here and then we can increase this also cool so now it's matching here also and i'll make the size maybe five and one and maybe two and one and of course this should be green but you can randomize some values like if this is green you can go maybe something like that and also with the values and i'll take the size and just make this curve so they will spawn they will scale up and down looks nice we need some uh, actually increase this and also this maybe is 15 and size maybe 1 and 0.1 1. 1. right then i'll duplicate this in this one i'll reduce the spawn rate maybe just 50 and make this really bright maybe like 50 and 20 and size also a little bigger so we will have some really bright and if you want to add little motion in it you can add like vortex or something but little bit so if i take the vortex and it should rotate around the y but very subtle value maybe just five and i'll also make this five one still too much and it's rotating all same speed so I'll just make it 0 to 5. Some will rotate some even less. Yeah, and I'll just duplicate it. Fix. So there will be some motion, but not much. It's very slow. Five and five. It's not playing actually. Yeah. So I think one and one was okay. Because I will not play. Yeah, it's fine. And when it is start, there is no particle. So to fix that, I will go here and just add warm up. And also, I think the life is too much. Maybe it should be like 3 and 1. And this should be like 3 and 1. So this is what we have. and this one i think this should be a little less and this should be like this 10 and the area of the brighter one should be near the edge and it looks fine now we just need to add some some leaves and then we will finish this tutorial so i'll just find a leaf here in my project and i have so many leaves like this one and i think i have a material also let me check 
yeah but i will not use this one yeah it has the particle color so i will use this one and i'll just duplicate my emitter and i'll just change the leaf and this is single leaf and i don't want it to be brighter and size should be like 10 and 5 and it should be like dark green like this random rotation and it should not like uh, life should be a little bigger maybe five and one more thing i'll do i'll add little car noise in it yeah and also i'll do animate it Let's make it a little brighter. Curl noise I will reduce, maybe just five and rotation maybe two. We can also increase this to 10. Size maybe eight and three. Yeah. So I think this looks nice. And there's also one issue, my camera is not focused on the character, so I will just stop it here. And in the camera, you can select the component, go here, turn on this, then you can use this. And just put your character in the focus. I think this looks nice, I just feel that glow is too much I will reduce the opacity maybe just 0.5 and also this one should be little more like yeah less. now it looks fine so that's it I hope you liked it thanks for watching keep learning Bye-bye.